Today we're going to be painting some decayed flesh and for this we're going to be using the wing of Mortarion. Starting with some Reichlin flesh shade and Lamium medium, we're going to create a glaze and we're going to focus this on the lower third of this wing. With this glaze we're going to make it in a roughly one to one between flesh shade and medium. As we can see we've mixed the shade and the medium in equal parts and it's created a thin sort of milky consistency. This will be a lot thinner than your usual recess shade wash. As I said we're going to focus this on the lower third of the wing. The idea with the glazes is we're slowly going to build up the density of the colour over multiple layers, really making it rich where we want it, which in this example is going to be towards the edge of the wing. Now it is important to let the layers fully dry at this stage, which is roughly going to take about 10 minutes. Now as we can see the colour has already started to shade the wing, but we're going to make it a little bit richer towards the edge. So we're just going to reapply our glaze a bit more selectively than we did last time, perhaps around a third of the way down that first third that we've already painted. Just focusing on keeping the brush strokes consistently in the same direction so as not to build up any strange texture. After our second layer is dried we can see the colour is quite intense where we want it, but we want to change the overall colour towards the edge of the wing. So for this we're going to make a glaze with Seraphim Sepia. It's going to be done in the same technique as before, except we're going to focus a lot more on the tails in the wing and selectively round the edges. Again we're going to mix the medium and the shade in a one to one ratio, a bit thinner than we would do with a normal recessed shade. Using our sepia glaze, we're going to focus right on the edges here and again around the tails and the fleshy wings. So now that we've left that layer to dry for around about 10 minutes, we can see that we've slowly built up a nice colour transition from sepia to flesh to the natural colour of the wing. In this stage we're going to take things a little bit further and we're going to make a glaze of Agrax Earthshade and Lamium Medium following the exact same process as we did before, except this time we're going to be a lot more focused on the holes in the wings and selectively around the edge of the miniature. As with before, once again we're going to leave it around about 10 minutes to dry between the layers. So as we can see we're starting to build up a nice variation in colour, going from darker to lighter from the edge towards the centre of the model. Again we're going to take things up a stage, this time using Drucci Violet and being very selective where we put it, this time really focusing only on the holes in the miniature and towards the very 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 tips of the wings. This is going to be a kind of colour area highlight and we're going to use it very sparingly. So again we're going to make that mix of 1 to 1 between Drucci Violet and Lamia Medium and selectively glaze where we want the colour to be richest. After this stage is complete we do one more final glaze using Coelia Green Shade and a lot more selectively than we have with the Drucci Violet. Unfortunately I forgot to film it but you can see what the overall effect is here in this final picture. If you've enjoyed the video please take the time to like, subscribe and comment. See you in the next one.